I can thank my roommate for getting me to eat this many veggies and fruits because my basket used to never look this colorful. This is the effect of living with people who eat a ton of veggies and fruits and cook at home and it's rubbed off on me in the best way possible. morning I passed my reaper exam yesterday which is super exciting which means there's only one more block left which is MSK or rheumatology but now we're back to our regularly scheduled programming which means I'm starting my morning with my 20 year old questions then which is just the worst way to start my day my favorite my favorite part of the day but before I do, I wanted to say a couple quick words about the new desk organizer that I got. So the first time I saw one of these was actually on TikTok and I thought I should get one for myself because my desk is pretty small and I felt like I needed the extra like levels and storage space. But I wasn't sure how well it was going to fit on my desk and just work in general. But now that I set it up, it fit perfectly. So I got this desk organizer from Rock Deer and they have a couple of different options. I chose the one that was black and white and it's also bamboo so it's very light portable and then they have a ton of other options all black they have other black and white ones they have light brown ones so it can match up to your desk or whatever you need and already i think it elevated lol elevated my desk setup so much i feel like i have a ton more space i also just like the simple details like this little area that I now have that I can put stuff in I can slide things under and it can just be out of the way also as you saw it only took me like 10 minutes to put together and it was super easy anything that's related to like supplies and organizing I love so I really like this one and I will leave all the extra information and links in the description box It's 3 p.m. and I've just been hit with this like wave of anxiety and I just wanted to say I used to never get anxious or nervous about anything really um, and I think I attribute a lot of that to like being a college athlete and just like I don't know I always channeled my I guess like anxiety and stuff through sports and also I learned to control the feelings of anxiety through sports and I feel like now I don't have that and like medical school just always feels overwhelming in a lot of ways there's so many things to balance like there's school there's boards there's extracurriculars there's all these other things that you're supposed to be doing so like whenever I start thinking about how many things I have to accomplish in a day and it just feels like a weight gets dropped on me I'm literally like my mouth is dry like that's how anxious I'm getting and so random and sometimes I just get these like waves of anxiety and then i just feel like i can't do anything else today like i'm so anxious i just don't know like what task to start working on because everything's just giving me anxiety i really hate this feeling and i'm like i don't experience it often so i'm i really feel for the people that do get anxiety a lot i'm feeling what you're feeling right now so so i'm gonna uh, like I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna make some food. I think I'm just gonna watch some sketchy because still gotta study, but at least it's like a, you know, like a passive thing and I just watch funny cartoons. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna work this anxiety off and hopefully after that, um, be in a better mindset to study. But yeah, like if I ever look like I have all my shit together, like it does get overwhelming for me too, so. I did really bad on my UWorld 20 question set and now that it's getting warmer outside I've been rewarding myself afterwards with like a nice run outside because it takes my mind off things I can just listen to music and 
run around in the slightly warmer weather so i'm gonna go do that before i take up any other form of studying i need a break your role always makes me so sad <laughs> I just came back from Dune 2 and oh my goodness, what an incredible movie. Cinematography it was so perfect. The actors were really good. The acting was really good. The music. Hans Zimmer is just Hans Zimmer, so it's expected. Everything was perfect, so if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go watch it. But I'm sure a lot of you have because that's I feel like that's what everyone's been talking about recently. In the spirit of the movie, we'll continue with some Dune study music. This was the best way to end my night. It's Thursday. I had a really early morning wake up today because I had my last standardized patient encounter for the year, which is really exciting, but also I didn't love having to get up early to go to this because uh, it felt like all the patient encounters that we already had was enough and that we covered everything that we could have and like plus and now there was like this extra one in a way it's nice to be forced to get out of the house and see new people and kind of like do different things but it's also breaking up my routine of like studying for boards and just trying to be like focused on covering all this material because i'm going in and preparing for this like patient encounter that i feel like isn't super necessary at this point so i don't know but that's how my morning started and then we had like a two hour debrief about that case. I'm also just not in a great mood because I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I'm going to push through this. I thought I was gonna come home and take a nap or something, but instead I'm just gonna uh, chug some coffee and I'm gonna go to school because I haven't been super productive the past couple of days at home as I usually am. And so I think I'm gonna try and leave the house and go to school and see if it changes. Yeah, I think I just need a change of scenery. I need to be like in a quiet, studious place where there's a ton of people just quietly sitting next to me uh, to get motivated. So today didn't start off as the greatest day. Um, I was not in a good mood after the patient encounter, didn't get enough sleep, went to the library and it just kind of like continued. I had to do my boards questions, I had to do Anki, it just felt like nothing was really going my way. But I was pretty productive at the library so it was really good. Got through a decent amount of things, ended up going to the gym afterwards. So what more can I ask for from my board studying period, a productive day, I'm moving my body, you know, staying healthy. So I'm trying to look at it in the way that in the beginning of the day, it seemed like this was just going to be like the worst day and now that I made it until the end of the day, it was fine and I just made it through and I think with board studying, days are just a little bit bland and a little bit grey now because there's the pressure of the exam looming and all the uh, things that I have to get through on the checklist during the day in order to pre prepare myself the best while I'm still trying to keep up with the rest of school the little bit of school that we have left. So I think in this time period, if I can just make it through the day and be productive with my day, I think that's all I can ask for and I'm happy enough with that. And now I get to enjoy an hour worth of Grey's Anatomy because I missed it on the TV because I went to the gym during that time, but now I can rest in bed. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do Anki on my phone. I'm not gonna care about school and just for an hour, I'm just gonna enjoy this Grey's Anatomy episode. It's 1.30, I'm gonna go head out to school again because I was productive at school yesterday and I'm hoping for the same thing today. I have a review session for an exam on Monday at 5.30 that I'm gonna attend and before that I'm just gonna get as much board studying as I can. This morning I worked a lot on research. My research kind of became stagnant as like board studying approaches and I, I kind of put research on the back burner a little bit as board studying started to ramp up and just like feeling a lot more anxious about boards research wasn't really the priority for me also I don't think I really ever talked about this but I think one of my regrets in medical school and how I've been going about it is not joining a bigger research lab and kind of trying to figure out research on my own I did it because my school didn't have the research that I would have been interested in in the field that I'm interested in going so to me it didn't make sense to join a lab just to do any form of research when I 
wasn't interested in it and I wouldn't have enjoyed it and the research that I have been doing like solo through my mentors I have actually really enjoyed like I've enjoyed learning about the information and working on the paper so the whole process to me was a lot of fun and I feel like I wouldn't have had that if I had just joined any research lab just so I could get my name on a publication but it is harder to publish when you're not part of a bigger lab that's kind of like churning out research all the time so it has been I think a lot more work in that sense. I had a little bit more time this week and I felt re-inspired to try and work on that. So I worked on that this morning. So yeah, I dedicated my morning to that. Now I'm gonna dedicate my midday to boards and then the evening is going to be for my clinical skills exam on Monday. Yeah.